What's up guys? Welcome to my channel, English Tutor Hub. My complete tutorial for this week is when and how to use there is and there are to say that something exists. And you're gonna learn to speak English fast to tell different rooms in the house and other things that exist. And you were given several practice exercises for the students to work on. So here we go. Our lesson title, There is and There Are, My Home. Skill focus, listening and speaking. Focus vocabulary, rooms in the house and you have here the furniture. Materials, charts and pictures. So you start your lesson with the words wheel, rooms in the house and furniture. Bathroom. Bedroom, living room, desk, dining room, garage, front yard, cupboard, kitchen, laundry, armchair, curtains. Proceed by showing picture of a house and have the students name rooms in the house and move on to show pictures of different rooms in the house and ask students what are the things they can find in the respective rooms in the house in the bedroom dining room kitchen yes have them tell what are the things they find in their kitchen living room bathroom and toilet and this roof and move on guys to tell them that they gonna listen to a story that you gonna read about michelle so my family and I live in a house. There is a kitchen, a big living room, a bathroom, and two bedrooms in the house. I love my room. It's big and there are many things in it. There is a pink carpet on the floor. My dog likes to play on the carpet. And there are many toys on it. And then guys, move on to comprehension checkup. Have the students answer each question with your guide. Where do Michelle and her family live? So, have the students answer. Michelle and her family live in a house. Next. How many bedrooms are there in the house? So, students answer. There are two bedrooms in the house. What is the color of the carpet on the floor? The color of the carpet in the, on the floor is pink. And who likes to play in the carpet? The dog likes to play in the carpet. And proceed on to ask why. Why is it that the dog likes to play the carpet? Because there are many toys on it. Next, guys. So, does Michelle, question number five now. Does Michelle love her house? Yes, she does love her house. Okay, guys. Let's move on to our analysis and discussion using the table below on the use of there is and there are so guys we use there is and there are to say that something exists so point to them emphasize to the students that there is we use there is if we are talking to only one thing example a book an apple so here there is only one book and there is only one apple example here 
There is a book on the table. So how many book we are talking about here? It's only one book. So we have to use there is. Yes? And number two example here, guys. There is an apple on the table. So we use there is here because we are talking only to one apple. So guys, bear in mind that we use there is for only one thing. Okay? Next, moving on to guys. On the use of there are. So, emphasize to them guys. Explain to them that we use there are for two plus things. Okay? Or plural noun. Example here guys. Two books. So, if we are talking more than one, two plus things. Two books, three books, ten books, or more than that, we have to use there are apples we are talking here many apples it's not stated the number but it means many a lot apples so we have to use there are so remember guys that there are is used for plural nouns example here there are two books on the table. So we have to use there are. We cannot use there is because we are talking two books. There are apples on the table. So we use there are because we are no longer talking to only one apple. But we are talking to a lot of apples, many. So we have to use there are. Okay, guys. So moving on. If you ask questions using there is, don't forget that if it's only one thing, still use there is. And is comes before there if you want to ask questions about one thing don't forget guys is comes before there if it's only one thing okay is there okay a book you are asking only one book so is there a book on the table and don't forget to end your question to close your question with a question mark again guys i'll repeat if you are talking to only one thing and you wanted to ask question, is comes before there. And your sentence must end with a question mark. Is there a book on the table? Same thing applies if you are talking about plural nouns. If you want to ask question, about two plus things are comes before there are there two plus things apples okay here guys are there apples on the table yes guys so again close your sentence with a question mark and are comes before there if you want to ask questions about plural noun or Two plus things. Again, guys, I'll repeat. We use there is and there are to say the something that exists. If our subject is singular or if we are talking to only one thing, singular noun. Example here a book, an apple. We have to use there is there is a book on the table there is an apple on the table so guys for there are if we are talking plural nouns or two plus things use there are there are two books on the table 
there are apples on the table. However, if you want to ask questions to only one thing, is comes before there. And if you are asking questions about two plus things or plural subject, are comes before there. And don't forget that your sentence must end with a question mark or your sentence you should close it with a question mark because you are asking a question. Okay guys, moving on. So now guys, when to use there is and there are for positive sentences. So guys here, we use there is for singular and there are for plural. There is one computer in the classroom. By the way, what is that thing? Why we talk here about positive sentences? When we talk about positive sentences, guys, meaning to say that the thing really exists. Okay? Like for example here. There is a com there is one com there is one computer in the classroom. So how many computer is there in the classroom? Only one. Mean to say it's certain that there is one computer in the classroom. That is positive sentences. There are four chairs in the classroom. So how many chairs are there in the classroom? Four chairs. So positive sentences. So meaning to say that there are four chairs that exist in the classroom. And now here, there is a dog in the house. So it is certain that there is a dog in the house. Only one dog. There are many people at the airport. Okay, guys, so positive sentences because it is certain that there are many people at the airport. So, guys, if we have positive, we have also negative form or negative sentences. The negative is formed by putting not after is or are. So, don't forget, guys, that to recognize the sentence from a negative to positive negative has a word not and not is followed after is and are it comes after is and are meaning to say if positive there is it is certain that there is a thing that exists it is sure but when we talk about negative form, mean to say there is none. Okay, guys? So here, example, there is not a horse in the field. So, you see, the word not is added after is. So, meaning to say there is not a horse in the field. So, how to make this positive? If you want to make this sentence positive, there is not a horse in the field. How are you going to change this into positive? You omit not. There is a horse in the field to make it positive. But since we are talking here about negative form or negative sentences, not is added after there is and there are. Okay, guys? Next year, example. There are not eight children in the school so positive sentence uh, oh sorry negative sentence because of not meaning to say there are not eight children in the school so if you want to transform this sentence into positive you omit not there are eight children in the school so there you go guys, you have already a positive sentence. But we are talking here negative sentence, so not is added after are. There are not a children in the school. Yes, 
it's very easy guys to transform positive to negative sentence next another example here there is not a tree in the garden so meaning to say guys that there is no tree that exists in the garden so negative sentence to make this positive just omit not there is a tree in the garden so when you speak there is a tree in the garden meaning to say it is already a positive sentence and there is a tree in the garden that exists okay guys last example here there are not two elephants in the zoo so negative sentence if you want to transform this into positive sentence you have to say again you have to omit not there are two elephants in the zoo but since we are talking negative sentence here of course not is added after are there are not two elephants in the zoo so there you go guys the difference between negative and positive sentence positive sentence there is no not and negative sentence not is added after is and are meaning to say there is nothing that exists but when we speak of positive sentence things exist okay guys next move on to practice exercise so have the students look at the picture and tell them to write the words in the box yes you have here number one two three four five six seven eight items okay guys and move on to another practice exercise which is a pair work have the students read in pairs what is there in your room and fill in the blanks using yes there is yes there are is there are there no there isn't no there aren't okay let's do this there are many toys in my room are there toys in your room yes there are my dog likes to play with them is there a desk in your room yes there is there are books pens and things i need for school on my desk is there a sofa in your room no there isn't it's in the living room there is a big bed in my room are there paintings on the walls in your room yes guys so you have to call students in pairs and have them read this yes guys and let's move on to generalization ask the students when do we use there is when do we use there are so guys we use there is there are to say that something exists there is for one thing and there are for two or more things so have the students read this by whole class by groups by rows and by individual students okay guys you have to write your generalization on the board okay we use there is there are to say that something exists there is for one thing and there are for two or more things and 
give them a homework ask your partner about their home is there a living room a kitchen and a bathroom in the home are there three bedrooms in the home what is there in his her room okay guys then if you still have time you can give them this practice exercise yes form questions or sentences right is there there is or are there there are on the space okay guys no milk in the fridge blank many rooms in your house blank a lot of snow in the mountains blank any mistakes in the stacks blank one question left blank no snails in my garden blank nobody in blank nothing to do blank seven days in a week blank a lot of tea in the kitchen and another practice exercise for you guys have the students fill in the blanks with there is or there are for the sentence to complete so guys there blank a cupboard in my bedroom blank their living rooms in your house there blank three floors in that hotel blank there a cat in the garden blank there four living rooms in your house there blank four books on the desk blank there a bedroom upstairs there blank a chair in your kitchen there blank a kitchen in my flat blank there a bathroom in your house Yes, guys. So, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoy and learn something new. I have some more stuff coming out soon. Make sure you subscribe, hit the thumbs up button, leave a comment below, and let me know your thoughts and questions. Love to hear from you. Thank you very much, guys.